What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a meet tomorrow. It's a bit more than a meet like the blue water meet. It's actually beach dubbing down in Portsmouth. About 30 caddies going in a convoy. We've got a meet early in the morning. I've just literally finished a clutch on a say at Leon. So if you've seen that video, you'll know that this is straight after. Anyway, I need to get my van ready. It's two o'clock, gone two o'clock. It's half two in the afternoon. Need to pop out for dinner, come back. Need to wash and polish the caddy. And I've also got some Mark IV headlights to fix. I will make a separate video on them um, as they're pretty cool upgrade and there isn't much info on them. So I'll make my take on that video. Anyway, the weather is absolutely pony. Let's get straight into it. Need to wash the caddy, it's raining. I need to wash it, get all the dirt and grime and uh, debris off it, get it in the workshop, and while it's drying, we're gonna fit Mark IV rear lights. Then we'll go over it with a microfiber cloth, dry it off, and I just need to polish a couple of areas. If you've seen the videos on the caddy, you'll know it always gets a polish, so we don't need to give it a full machine polish, or I'll try not to. And uh, we'll fit the Mark IV rear lights. Let's give it a quick wash outside. I'm gonna get soaked and then we'll get it in the workshop. Ah, uh, yeah. So, we washed it in the rain, seemed pointless, got it in, squeegeed it off, dried it off. Also, while it was drying, I fitted my Mark IV rear tail lights, hopefully you can see in the shot. And uh, yes, for any of you keen-eyed caddy lovers, you'll realize that I haven't coded them in yet. And what do I mean by that? Let's just come and have a butchers. So, one, two, three lines. When you code them in on the ECU, this bottom one lights up too. That is a side light and a brake light, I believe. Haven't done that yet. Haven't got access to VAGCOM till Monday. So that'll do till Monday. But they're the later ones. Pretty. Um, I have just done a couple of bits of polishing. I didn't do any cutting, as in cutting the paint. But I might have done a little bit. The, uh, the back bumper had never been cut, so I've just cut that with the fast cut. Now I've just gone over a couple of bits, so I'm getting carried away. There's plenty of material and paint on the van, because a lot of you that watch the videos, you're going to say, you're going to polish that off soon. And yes, I've polished it a few times, but the paint is so hard. I'm struggling to get any marks out. I tickled it off a few months ago, and I'm still finding tickle marks, i.e. sandpaper, wet sanding. Anyway, we're getting through it. It is about 8.30 at night. The missus hoovered it out for me. Nice one, dear. She'll moan at me for calling me dear. If she sees the video, she hates that. Anyway, she hoovered it out. Happy days. Been for dinner. Come back. It's half eight, quarter to nine. I've just got a waffle head. Waffle head, if you don't know, is a soft pad and ultra fine polish couple more bits to do I've done 60% of it the bonnet has got a few scuffs in it I don't know if it's from road debris from cars in the front or what but there's a few scuffs in it so I'm going to cut the bonnet waffle head the rest of it and then I have got to wipe the dash down wipe the dash down and then because I've got to be up at 5 a.m. to get for Portsmouth for 9 I've got to make sure the van's packed this evening but anyway, enough chit chat beforehand. I'm going to get this done and we'll skip to 5 a.m. And you might know I don't do early because I work late, 10, 11 o'clock most evenings. So early isn't my thing. So I will see you with a happy face at 5 a.m. Ah, uh, yeah. <sighs> what a stupid time in the morning to be getting up. It's only just getting light. What is even the point in there being two five o'clocks on the clock? Well, at least the van's shining. It's bloody wet out here. Means I'm gonna have to wipe it down when I get there. <sighs> oh man. So it's half five. What is even the point? being two R5s in the day. Surely no one else uses that time. It's fogging up in here. Um, 
Yeah, it's early. 12 degrees. Cool, I haven't seen that low in a while. Oh, uh, so I'm not an early morning person. You might have guessed. My other mate who's coming, Andy, he's even less of an early morning guy. Uh, on WhatsApp, we send voice messages. It's easier than typing, try it. Bottom right hand corner, hold the mic, talk to your friend rather than text him. Um, all right, vlogger, we've got a vlogger here who's taking, oh, bleh. Anyway, Andy, he's not a morning person. He's worse than me. He's up late. He's a night owl. He sleeps in till late morning. Five o'clock, before my alarm goes off, my phone pings. Andy's messaged me. And listen to how chipper he sounds at 5 a.m. Easy there, broski. Are you awake? Because I am. Well, I've been awake for ages. <laughs> I've never. But I'm just seeing if you're awake, mate. It's five o'clock. sound that chipper. He's excited for today. I am too, but I was up till 10, gone 10, polishing, cleaning the motor. And I might add, it is sopping wet outside. So I have bought some cleaning products. I'm going to be that guy who gets to a car show and then cleans his car. Anyway, uh, let's get Andy, let's get out the road. Oh uh, yeah, picked Andy up, how's it going Andy? Oh uh, yeah. Um, so, you sent me a message at five o'clock and I've, I've already mentioned to the camera and the guys at home, that you're an, a, a night owl yeah. and up late. Yeah. You sent me a message at five o'clock and you was as happy as Ned Flanders. <laughs> yeah. I played him the message. Yeah, it was. I was like, I, I weren't even going to voice message back, so I would have been like, hello. <laughs> I've but, been up since four o'clock. <laughs> Not intentionally. <laughs> yeah, no, I was rolling about a bit. That's the thing, you said it yesterday. When you got to get up for something, you know about it in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're asleep, but you're like, oh, it's got to be time to wake up. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. Go back to sleep. <laughs> But anyway, uh, we've got plenty of fuel. I'll probably get some more, because it's a little jaunt. There's meant to be, we're meant to be meeting up with like 30 to 35 caddies on the way in a convoy to pull in. That is going to look super cool. So Andy is going to be wielding the camera when we get there. And uh, the sun's coming out. Oh, yeah. I did just check, I had to go for a massive puddle getting through your village. Yeah, 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 that's what I was thinking. Not happy. Savage. Yeah. But I've got a pump bottle full of water so I can get all, even in all the wheel arches, I don't want it looking minging in there. But um, let's get there and let's get into it. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about time I got some work out of him. He's detailing the tyres, look. Oh, yeah. Does this make us equal now? Something like that. <laughs> It is absolutely caddy chaos. They are everywhere. Literally.
we are, I don't know, we're only just getting to the entrance now. We're literally at the entrance now. Yeah. So, I'm being that guy, gets to the show, gives it a wipe down. As you might remember, the start of the day was very wet and I didn't spend all evening polishing it just to have it dirty at the show. I've never been that guy to wipe them down at the show, but this is probably one of my favorite motors ever. So, I suppose it's only fair window cleaner to clean the whole motor it is hanging you wouldn't believe I polished this last night the sun's shining which is nice but uh, there's a fair few vans here I think there's 30 40 I'll just give it a quick wipe down and then we will uh, we'll go and have a look round. The show's quite big. There's loads of people here. Loads of caddies, which is nice. Hopefully I've got a few shots. Andy got out the motor and uh, run up next to the traffic to get all of them in one go. A little bit hard work to try and keep 30 motors in a row on the motorway when there's a uh, other traffic but uh, finish giving it a wipe down and we'll have a little butchers have a little walk around see what's going on oh yeah fair few motors here T4, T5, C oh look there we go there's a cosy there unless we turn V dub show and there's a uh, cozy. Any Ford fans on the channel? Oh yeah. I'd put a PD. I'd I'd ruin it for the Ford bunch and put a PD engine in it though. Corrado, Corrado. Is it a do or da? Yeah, ain't there a Corrado as well with an A on the end? No, not the interior. I weren't a V-Dub fan when these were... See, I've got the automatic spoiler on it. It's the first yeah. vehicle I ever saw with an automatic yeah, yeah. spoiler. Sweet. My mate imported one from America years ago. He just put the seat belts on for you and everything. Nice. Cool, look at the... Yeah, Grin. My pal Grin's a transit man, isn't he? That's... Uh, that's quite Shelby. tidy, isn't it? Isn't it? it? No, I don't. It is, is airbrush. That is. It is airbrush. Yeah. Mate, that is some quality work. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think I'd like it. She's like watching it. 
she stopped watching it. And that was it. You kept watching and watching it. Caught up and waiting for the series to come out. Yeah. It lost its way about season five. I think most things do. I think they, to, they struggle, don't they, to keep up with it. And now it's really nice. Let it come back in season six. Still a rusty transit. Sorry if you own it and you watch the video. Do you like the caddies with that front end? I uh, know that's the a Toran. The Toran V2. Something it? like that. Some of them look smart. Some yeah. Of them really do look smart. You pick them front ends up for like 200 quid, yeah. don't you? I'd rather update the front end. Yeah. I like the That's brown nice. and black. <laughs> he loves a chit chat. That is nice. So I'm going to go two tone with mine. Yeah. Anthracite lower, a silver top. I want the transit. Yeah. T5. Oh, T5. Oh, yeah. Cool yeah. Oh, it's a long wheel base and all. Yeah, it's a long wheel base and all. Look how long it looks. It's a little long. Yeah, very nice. Andy, one for you behind it, T4, pink one. Oh yeah, I love a pink one. So, ID Buzz. It's a new electric VW Dubery. Don't know any more than that. Oh, sorry, mate. oh, it's nice inside. Look at that. Definitely not. Watched an episode of that car wow. Well. Yes, yeah. And they had a load of electric motors yeah, on there. Guy off of, um, he used to do, he was a presenter on Fifth Gear. Yeah. He's done a lot of stuff on these as well. I think he went to the Open, you know, and he, he would let a look around it. I really like them. Yeah, very nice. Come on. I do like the blue. We've got the hybrid front bumper, of course. Similar headlights to Darren's. Um, nice wheels. The blue and the white goes. Some cool motorbikes if anyone's into bikes on the channel. Funky. Yeah, very nice. I like the blue. Any Beetle fans on the channel? I like the swamper look. Riley, you had one like that, didn't you? I did. <laughs> yeah, we've got that on the deck. The only thing is with tyres like that, very noisy. Yes, you want to go uh, travelling? You need earplugs. Sounds like four wheel bearings are gone when you're driving up the road. That's it. Yeah. Cheeky matte black one. I like the gold and the black. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, black and orange. Black goes with a lot of colours, doesn't it? I love black and orange. Yeah. Like colours. Yeah, nice. There is T5s and T4s for days, literally. There is plenty of them. There's, there's less caddies than T5s and T4s. We're the select crew. Yeah, very nice. Cheeky split screen. Do you like an oldie, do you? Riley? Yeah, it looks smart, doesn't it? Up for sale as well. Very shiny. I like the green. You get down there for sale with some of my boy. Yeah, anyone want a camper? He's nice. Some hubcaps with the old original logos. Ones. Yeah, nice. We've got the old uh, swap meets, whatever you might call it. Parts. Ed Darren, get, change them up for your Bentleys. Yeah. Yeah. I might be able to use them as centre caps. Yeah. Plenty of took. I was saying, when we were kids, we had a beetle bonnet as a sledge. Yeah, wicked. Awesome. I bet. Quick shot of all the caddies. We're going to go all the way and look at all of them because they're all pretty. A couple of black ones here, nice. Very nice. 
got to love a facelift in pure grey. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Hybrid bumper, Mark III facelift. Like the black and the grey. We like the blue one. We like the rotor forms. Very nice. I like his little V-dub sticker. That's pretty, that. And this is the one for me. Um, I've just been over and chatted to him. Very nice. Viper Green, I believe it's called. He's just got the, uh, the wheel arches and the side skirts on it. Yeah, that is super, super nice. That is a nice caddy. And again, next to it, another Mark IV in black. 20 inch wheels, all blacked out. Yeah, that's nice. Nice pair of them. Plenty of engine covers. It's just a TDI, but you can get TDI engine covers. Obviously you've got the main one that's painted, but you've got all the covers. Very pretty. Yeah, nice van. They look good together, black and the green one. Yeah, I do like a Mark IV. There's subtle changes. The headlights have got slightly pointy bits on. Um, very nice. And then just winking out the corner of my eye, there's another red one. Looks to be the same colour, actually. Guys had it for a while. I think it's a 2006, I believe my mate Darren said. It's nice to see another red one. Um, very pretty. How's it going, guys? All good? Yeah. All good. I'm just saying that you don't see many red ones. It's nice to see another red one. It is nice. Very nice. Oh, he's got a couple of steering wheels for sale, I see. <laughs> I want a nice steering wheel. You don't see many red ones, so when I painted my red, obviously five minutes later I'll see a few of them. Didn't it's see the same, as soon as you open one, you see them. Mm. Yeah. Didn't see didn't see any until then. That's right, yeah. Nice. And there is loads. We've got a fair few to get through. Hope you sat comfortably. Another black one. There's three rows in total. Nice white one. Black and the white sort of goes, red and the black goes, any sort of go really. Then we've got Riley's one. We lowered it recently. Axle flip kit. Yeah, looks a lot better. Was the jacked up model and then pow. There she is, sat there, polishing it till 10 o'clock last night. You've probably seen in the start of the video. I had a few of you subscribers come over and say hello. Thanks for doing that, really appreciate it. It was nice to meet you. Really good. Um, yeah, it was good. Park next to Darren, of course. He's always the star of the show. He's got so many bits on it, which add up to making it the van it is. I do like the green one. Darren, I think the green one's tipping yours just today, but yours has still got all the trick bits on it. Like a silver one. Silver's can be a boring color, but it's a fresh color. Like the wheels. So it's the Mark III facelift I've just noticed. It is already facelift. It's not had a facelift like mine. And then it's got the Mark IV side repeaters. Silver Mark IV. Nice. He's got some uh, bigger brakes. I do like a Mark IV, but I'm happy with mine. Oh, and look at that bad boy. It's got really low miles. I believe less than 10,000 miles. Pure grey Mark IV, nice rotor form wheels, big brakes, it's really nice inside. Here's Darren talking again. Hello Darren. This is my one. It's nice, isn't it? Have you shown the gear knob on? I have oh, not. Got that from no. Germany, it's so nice. Little throw back to the old GTI. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, look, 8,000 miles. It's also got the Scirocco gauge pod. 
we see this one at the meets, look how clean it is. It's like a brand new van in there. It's got some cool little, hello, thank you, sir. Cheeky beach dubbing, thank you very much. It's got some uh, lights. What would you call the lights again, Darren? Uh, uh, Rolls Royce Starlights, aren't they? That's what they fibre first. optics. Fibre optics, yeah. Sorry. Starlights, yeah, little fibre optic lights. He's actually doing something. Is he? I've got the new door Hello, sir. How's it going? You alright? Good, you? Not bad, not Just bad. Just showing your van off, you don't mind, do you? No problem, mate. Yeah, it's very clean. I suppose it's super low miles, so it has to be... This is the one we saw at the meet. He's got massive side, uh, massive fit out inside. He's got big cupboards and stuff. Him and his missus. Nice little warning coming off the side. He has got the back awning as well. Cool, that is. Very nice. We like this one. I like the uh, I like the steel wheel hubcaps. Um, yeah, cool. This one's Kyle. This one was just on the channel. Um, we was playing around with his front bumper. He's actually he's actually washed it. To, he's actually washed it today. Oh uh, yeah. Not much room under your bumper. She's on the deck. Bumper's still attached. Um, yeah, nice. It looks a lot better cleaner. Thank you. And with that bumper sorted out. <laughs> mm, a bit popping off now. I was disappointed a bit's popping off. They all do it, but I said I'll fix the shit out of that, and it still popped off. Mine's popped off. Yeah, but yeah, we like this one. Oh, he's got the bass. We'll have to go see him. He's got his music on. That's pretty. Can't hear a lot from his music. This one's on Air Ride, TFSI. I need to speak to this guy, actually. I haven't, I haven't spoke to this guy. He goes to the meets, makes some noise, on the deck, nice and dirty, goes well. Perfect. So this is Chris. He's repping the sticker, look, check that out. <laughs> Just over to see this guy, he's a subscriber of the channel, he's come and found me. I've come to have a look at his van, and yeah, it's sweet actually. He's done the Toran mirrors, he's got the Land Rover wheels, He's done a few bits, it's nice. He's got the Team Heco wind divisors, rear Toran seats. Yeah, as I say, he's a subscriber to the channel. He come over to find me. Um, yeah, what a nice guy. He's also got a couple of cool bits. I mentioned it in a video. He's just doing the little triangle TT bits. He's got the TT vents. He's got the DTE TV sticker, flat bottom steering wheel, yeah. And I think he's going to come up to one of the uh, the Blue Water meets, which would be nice. Another another caddy to the scene. And again, a subscriber to the channel. He says he enjoys the channel. And uh, yeah, blown away actually. Yeah, wicked. Can't miss out the golfs. You know I love a golf. I had a Mark V. There's plenty of them, look. R32 Mark IVs everywhere. I do love a Mark V Golf. I've not owned a Mark IV, or I did, but I ended up selling it to my Mrs. Stepdad. It's a diesel one, but I didn't own it for too long. I'm a Mark V man, but they are pretty. They're all made of good stuff. If you want a car that's reliable and will treat you well, as long as you treat it well, get yourself a Mark V Golf. Four bits. I had a set of them on my Sierra. I'll add a picture of it now. They didn't really suit it, if I'm honest, but they look cool on that. Is it a Mark One? Yeah. Trump hits. Warp. Flush front. You wouldn't want to drop anything in there and start it up, would you? Because that's straight in your engine. Oh, 
I bet it does, mate. What's that aircon? Yeah, aircon. Old school aircon. Old school aircon. Check this out. You drive along. Aircon. Yeah, that's right. It's a uh, what? Slide up. Would you put water in it? Blows it straight in the window. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I take it this is the low section. Check out how low this is. <laughs> Look how low it is. <laughs> that is low. Doors going the other way is a bit funky. Yeah, nice. Nice. Yeah, doors opening the other way is uh, funky, isn't it? Yeah, look how low it is. That's a T5, <laughs> and that's like down there. Look, not people won't touch it. Yeah. Oh, bus. Barely get me. Oh, bus. Load. Suicide doors. They are. Yeah. So it's the low section. So we've got the lower T4 as well. Seats are nice in that. That's nice, it's cool underneath there. Nice engine cover. Oh, look, there's a caddy. Oh, that's a. Uh... Oh, that's a uh, colleague. Yeah. Where's he gone? All the stuff I've got. This is the guy that comes to the meet. This is the one from the meet. No sliding door. Check out inside. He's done all this on his driveway himself. Better shot, because it was night time when we looked at it last time. That's good, isn't it? I like the brown. Suits the age era of the older gentleman, I believe. Without trying to say he's old. Yeah, awesome. Oh, look. So it did have a sliding door. So that's what it looked like. It did have a sliding door and they took the sliding doors out. That's some work. Yeah, it did have sliding doors. Another Mark 5 V6 R32. Same engine as Darren's. Check out how low that is. She's low. I've seen this. Oh, it's not sharp. They've done a nice job. It's, it's been thickened up as well, otherwise it'd flex too much. That's really smooth. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Okay, I can see what's going on here. Andy, this is a Mark III. That's a Mark III Golf right. with a Mark IV front end. Right. I think. So where are you? I think. Hopefully I'm not wildly out, but it's a Mark III with a Mark IV front yeah, end. Embryo... That's the old front Yeah. yeah. Oh look, what's going on here? Oh, it's nice inside. They are nice. Nice Momo steering wheel. Yeah, it's definitely an earlier one. That's a full size bumper. What's going on? Yeah. So he has to cover it. Oh, he takes that off. Okay. Right, yeah, he takes that off. Oh look, uh, this is... Is that Nardo? That is Nardo. Pure grey is darker. Yeah, someone's done a nice job on that paintwork. <laughs> you <nearly got> <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got a Porsche engine in here. Very nice. Is it 2.7? This one's from the meat. My mate Grin loves this one. I, I do like it. Very nice. I like the white and the green. Pretty. And two foot further forward, same colour van, I believe. 
a little bit darker. It's got the tour end front end, but that's uh, the lower, the slightly older one to mine. That looks nice. Well, I like the other one too, but I like the little touch on this one. Later, Darren, mate. Thanks for a good day. Yeah, thank you. See you later, guys. Yeah. Thanks for today. Thanks for being there. Thank you. Later, So we're on our way home and this is a little edit. You'll see what I mean after this shot. I've already took the outro, but there's something else I wanted to add. So we'll talk about the show in a second. And this is what I wanted to add. About 10 of you guys that watched the channel have popped in to where we was to come and say hello. Absolutely blown away that you come over. Thanks for coming over. Um, really appreciate the support support towards me support towards the channel you messaged me beforehand saying you was coming some of you just turned up and come and found me big shout out to you guys that have subscribed come and said hello means a lot really appreciate it I had a good time chatting with all of you so yeah thank you for that guys anyway on with the outro oh man what well, a day is done and what an absolute banger of a day. How was your day, And? It was amazing. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Thousands of people. It was busy, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Beach dubbing, we will see you again next year. It was that good, and yeah. I will take the missus and the kids as well as Andy next year, what have you. Missus and the kids will enjoy it. There was, there was stuff to do for the kids. Yeah. Um, there was obviously lots of cars for the dads, mums, but there was kid stuff to do too. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and the guys we went with, such nice people. Yeah, yeah, really nice people. So nice. Darren's behind us in the white one. Might even be able to see him in the shot, actually. Don't yeah. know, through the window. But yeah, we traveled down there with loads of us, about 30 of them. It's really good going in a convoy. It makes the journey that little bit more enjoyable. I won't say we were booting it, but you know, like in and out of traffic, he overtakes, he drops back, some good little shots. Overall, really good day. The weather held, <coughs> the weather held out, weather was good. Loads of nice VWs, all shapes and sizes. Literally, every yeah. VW you could think of. American stuff. There was American stuff yeah. there, actually. Yeah, can't rate it enough. And again, big shout out to the CCUK guys. Such nice people. If you've got a caddy, have a look at the CCUK Facebook page. There is a meet, the last Wednesday of every month. Everyone welcome. And look, if you're a bit nervous and think, I don't want to turn up, sit on my own, and not go and talk to anyone if you haven't got the confidence, one of us guys, or all of us, will come and include you. Yeah. Everybody will speak to you. Yeah. And don't matter if you're in a shed or a show queen. There's caddies of all the variety, all stages of work. Everyone is welcome. Blue water. Yeah, Blue Water. Last Wednesday of every month, check out CCUK. I'm so happy to have 
found a caddy community. So nice. I've, I, honestly, I've had the best day ever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's it. We have got 132 miles to get home. Darren follows us half the way, then he goes off. We carry on into Kent. And that is about it. <clears throat> yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, click the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. From me and Andy, we're out. Oh uh, yeah.